everyone, it's Chef Jess, and I'm going to show you how to make a zucchini breakfast brownie. And you're like, breakfast brownie, how does that work? Well, we're going to add a whole bunch of really healthy ingredients in there, including oat flour and some nuts, and of course, the zucchini. And if you want, you can even use cacao powder instead of cocoa powder. The cacao powder, though, seems to lose its nutrients or the power um, when it touches heat. And so that's why we usually keep cacao powder for raw items. But if you want, go for it if you have it around. So let's talk about what goes in here. We're gonna add our liquids first. So I've got one egg and some vanilla. So about a one teaspoon of vanilla. And then I'm also going to add coconut oil. So I've got half a cup of coconut oil and also half a cup of sweetener of your choice. And so you can use agave, you can use honey, you can use maple syrup. All of those three will be interchangeable. Um, but again, use what you have on hand. You can even use a, a dry or like a granulated sugar if you wanted. All right, so we've got that going. Now we're gonna add our dry ingredients. So our dry ingredients are gonna be cocoa powder or cacao, a little bit of baking soda and then we've got whole wheat flour and oat flour so oat flour isn't something that you can find around um, but you can make your own so actually you can buy it but you'd have to go to places like whole foods or sprouts if you want just take your regular oats and put them in a blender and mix it up and you'll get oat flour so I'm just gonna mix that up with the egg I'm not gonna over mix it I'm just mixing it just until it's all combined. And then we've got our great zucchini. So you want to use a box grater when you grate your zucchini. Don't use your food processor. It's going to get too large, um, kind of too big chunks of zucchini. And we want small, not tiny, but small pieces of zucchini. If you're afraid that you won't like the flavor of the zucchini or you're really scared that you're really going to taste it, put it in a blender and you can, or food processor, and just mix it up in there. All right, so that's good to go. And I've got my zucchini here. So I've shredded it on like the big grate, or the box grater, the large one. Two cups is what you need, but I don't want you to pack it down. You just want to loose two cups. So you're going to take your zucchini then, and you're going to give it a quick squeeze. Not super hard, not a lot, just a little bit, just so that you still have a little bit of moisture inside that zucchini, because that's what's gonna keep the brownie slash cake, chocolate cake, whatever you wanna consider it, nice and moist. And if you think about it, you're using oat flour in there. Oats love liquid, and so they'll just soak it right up when you add it in there. All right, so I'm gonna push this aside. And then I'm gonna also add a few walnuts, all right? So I'm gonna put the walnuts in, I'm gonna give it a rough chop. You can use toasted, you can really use any kind of nuts you have on hand and you don't have to use nuts if you don't want to. I just like that little bit of a crunch that you get um, in something so rich. All right, so that's it. Nicely chopped. Oops, I'm gonna add that in. And that's just gonna all get mixed together. And when you do bake this, you do sometimes see a little bit of the green. Um, it really just depends. So I've got containers here ready to go. If you are meal prepping this, what you can do is you can make this into a large eight by eight pan and then cut them into sections. Or I have um, little loaf pans. I've got three of them that I'm gonna split with this mixture. So there is a little baking soda in there. So remember, it will rise on you. Um, and the other thing is don't use Dutch cocoa powder. There's no need for that in here. Um, and it'll actually dry it out a lot more. So if you use a Dutch cocoa or if you've ever noticed, Dutch cocoa powder is darker and it has a tendency to dry things out. So if you are using it, make sure you have enough liquid going on. That's why it's good for cakes, not necessarily a brownie like this. All right, so I'm gonna split that up a little bit more evenly. And then I would check it in about 15, 20 minutes if you're baking it in this size. The last thing you wanna do is over bake these. Um, you want it to be slightly jiggly in the middle, or if you took a toothpick and you put it in the middle, there's a little bit of crumb still left on there. So don't be afraid if there is because if you over bake it, it'll be more like a cake than a brownie. So those are ready to go. I'm gonna put them in the oven and show you what they look like. So 
Earlier, I made little mini ones ready to go, and they're in disposable containers, and so they're like a little loaf or a little brownie ready to go whenever you want. Um, and again, wrap them up, freeze them, um, take them out to defrost overnight, and you've got breakfast ready to go. And that's it. There's your zucchini breakfast brownie. See you next time.